Welcome to Declassifying the Paranormal. Here we reveal the secrets that sinister organizations attempt to conceal from the world, objects and entities that could shake the very foundations of what we think is, and is not, possible. Today we have secured documents belonging to the SCP Foundation, and will reveal to you the nature of SCP-3925. Item Number, SCP-3925 Object Class, Keter Special Containment Procedures, as SCP-3925 has a global reach and is spontaneously generated from an unknown source, full containment is not currently feasible. Until such time as a permanent containment solution can be found, these procedures have been developed in order to minimize the duration and scale of SCP-3925 events and lower the risk of public exposure. All individuals under the effect of an SCP-3925 event, once identified by local Foundation sources, are to be transported to the nearest Subdivision 03 facility. With the cooperation of national and international governments, these have been provided with the cover of government agencies relevant to the region. Affected individuals will be given an appropriate briefing regarding the agency needing to collect information from them and reside on site while they complete SCP-3925-1 with the assistance of Foundation clerical staff. Once SCP-3925-1 has been completed to a satisfactory degree and the SCP-3925 event affecting an individual has concluded, they may then be released to their previous activities, with a subsequent 60-day observation period in the community. Securing the cooperation of SCP-3925 affected individuals in this manner has been found to be the most effective and humane way of SCP-3925 containment, and each Subdivision 03 facility has been authorized to pay these individuals a salary based on local wages for the duration of their time. However, coercion should be considered if individuals refuse to cooperate. Disclosure of classified Foundation data regarding the nature of SCP-3925 is authorized with the approval of Level 4 staff, but personality types where this assists in securing cooperation are uncommon. If coercive measures were used, or individuals access classified information at any point in this process, amnestics should be administered prior to their release into the community. If SCP-3925-1 is impossible to successfully complete, or a SCP-3925 event persists for more than 20 iterations, termination of the affected individual is advised. After the events of Incident 3925-1, termination of any individual under the effect of SCP-3925 is prohibited. As partially completing an iteration of SCP-3925-1 reduces the growth rate of subsequent iterations, optimal containment requires some individuals to continue working on SCP-3925-1 indefinitely. Given the distress this situation causes, coercion is necessary for this purpose. There are currently individuals in this situation in Foundation custody. Since 1989. Administrative Subdivision 03 has been responsible for SCP-3925 management to facilitate centralized and streamlined containment measures. See Addendum 3925-1 for details. Description SCP-3925 is a phenomenon where affected individuals receive an A4 paper form requesting varying personal details. SCP-3925-1 from the first receipt of SCP-3925-1 individuals are considered to be affected by an ongoing SCP-3925 event. If SCP-3925-1 is completed successfully and placed in a mailbox within 30 days, it will dematerialize and the SCP-3925 event will conclude. However, if SCP-3925-1 is completed incorrectly or not returned, the individual will receive a new iteration of SCP-3925-1 to which the same conditions apply. When a new iteration is generated, the previous iteration loses its anomalous properties. Efforts to track SCP-3925-1 prior to its appearance or after its disappearance have been unsuccessful. SCP-3925 is estimated to affect 200 individuals per month worldwide. All affected individuals are literate and numerate adults who reside in areas with a developed postal system, although SCP-3925-1 appears to materialize at the individual's dwelling rather than being delivered by the postal service. However, 
once an individual is under SCP-3925's effect, these criteria no longer apply, and SCP-3925-1 will continue to manifest in their vicinity. Given these requirements, SCP-3925 has historically been observed in the developed world, but changing global economic circumstances have led to an increase in SCP-3925 events in developing nations. There are otherwise no distinguishing characteristics of affected individuals. SCP-3925-1 appears in the primary language of the affected individual, over 50 languages in 120 countries have been observed. As of 2017, 60,948 SCP-3925 events have been documented, with approximately 3,000 events ongoing at any given time under Foundation surveillance and an estimated 2,000 outside of us. Details requested by SCP-3925-1 are initially mundane and straightforward, name, age, sex etc., and ending an event at this point is relatively simple. An estimated 75% of SCP-3925 events are completed by the general public in the first or second iterations of SCP-3925-1 and do not come to Foundation attention. However, subsequent iterations of SCP-3925-1 increase in length and complexity, approximately 20% more pages per iteration, progressing to more complicated information, e.g. daily household electricity consumption and becoming increasingly personal or bizarre, e.g. most traumatic childhood memory. Formatting and design of SCP-3925-1 varies between individuals but remains consistent across iterations. All examples of SCP-3925-1 conclude with the following text. Thank you for your assistance. Property of Central Records, Current Year Any individual can fill out SCP-3925-1 but due to the frequently personal nature of the questions the primary subject's input is required to complete it accurately. All information requested by SCP-3925-1 is theoretically available to the affected individual, but more complex questions can be practically impossible to complete due to either the effort or memory recall required to collect the relevant information. As SCP-3925-1 iterations also increase in size, iterations beyond the 40th iteration are essentially impossible to complete. Partial completion of SCP-3925-1 reduces the growth of subsequent iterations, but as this property is relative to the percentage of SCP-3925-1 correctly completed, it is estimated that an SCP-3925 event beyond the 60th iteration numbering between 40,000 and 60,000 pages, assuming uncontrolled growth of SCP-3925-1 prior to this, would be impossible to complete to a degree necessary to inhibit future SCP-3925-1 growth. This would result in an eventual NK-class end-of-the-world scenario, with the mass of SCP-3925-1 predicted to exceed the mass of the Earth by the 350th iteration. Due to this property, both early detection and timely completion are a high priority for the Foundation. The death of affected individuals was initially thought sufficient to end an SCP-3925 event, and termination was authorized for when completion of SCP-3925-1 was infeasible. This practice was halted after Incident 3925-1 and current procedures implemented. Death of the affected individual by natural causes still appears to end SCP-3925 events. Incident 3925-1 On February 1, 1986, Foundation sources in the French government were alerted to an ongoing SCP-3925 event after a social welfare investigation of the Lyon residence of 1M Leblanc, known as a local eccentric and stereotypical hoarder. His residence was found to be filled with inert SCP-3925-1, with the active SCP-3925-1 numbering 22,522 pages, estimated to be the 55th iteration. As conventional completion of the SCP-3925 event was unlikely, particularly given the individual's mental state, termination was advised and the order was authorized by Dr. Becker, then cite a Deputy Director. M. LeBlanc was terminated by Foundation agents on September 1, 1986. On January 2, 1986, an SCP-3925-1 iteration numbering 30,092 pages materialized in the site a mailroom. 
the content was specific to Dr. Becker, but addressed him as the party with administrative responsibility for M. LeBlanc. When he was informed of this development, Dr. Becker attempted to jump from his office window, but was restrained by his colleagues. After psychological intervention, he was reassigned to full-time work on SCP-3925-1 and is currently based at Administrative Subdivision 030 Apophysis. Addendum 3925-1, Administrative Subdivision 03. Administrative Subdivision 03, Service for Clerical Processing, was established in 1989 in order to manage the increasing demands on Foundation staff related to SCP-3925 events. Its primary function is to accommodate individuals affected by SCP-3925 and assist them with completion of SCP-3925-1 with the assistance of Foundation clerical staff. It also holds responsibility for research relating to SCP-3925. There are currently four major regional centers, selected to cover populated areas with high rates of SCP-3925 events. Each center has a cover agency, in brackets, arranged in collaboration with government authorities, chosen as an authority that might plausibly require the information requested in SCP-3925-1. USA slash North America, New York, Headquarters, U.S. Internal Revenue Service, Europe West, Brussels, European Commission, Records Department, Fictional Agency. Europe East slash CIS, Moscow, Russian Federation Federal Security Service. China, Beijing, Ministry of Public Security. The O5 Council has approved the development of India and Middle East slash North Africa centers, planned for opening by 2025. Subdivision O3 currently employs, redacted, foundation staff, under the supervision of Director Y.L. Liu. As the bulk of its work is conducted in the guise of normal governmental functions, without visible anomalous activity, it has employed non-Foundation civilians since 1993 in many non-essential roles. These personnel are considered Foundation subcontractors with level zero security clearance. There are 21,400 subcontractors on the Subdivision 03 payroll as of 2015. Addendum 3925-2 Selected Electronic Correspondence from Subdivision 03 Headquarters Email Server From Walsh at AMS03.SCP.org Theo Iberg at AMS03.SCP.org CC Major at AMS03.SCP.org Subject, Budget Projection Slash Event Data Sent, April 4, 2017 at 3.40 p.m. Hi Irene. Accounting has finished the latest report for the 2016-17 financial year. As expected, the personnel and facilities budget continues to go up, my bosses won't be happy about that but it's not something anyone is surprised about. I thought there were some unusual trends in the numbers though, and on a hunch I asked a colleague in the research department to send me what he could on 3,925 event stats, I cc'd him into this email, and found some concerning things. There might be some more I don't have clearance for, but basically the number of 3,925 events keeps going up beyond what's expected. I know your people are aware of this already but it looks like this is pretty closely linked to our division activity over time. In particular, there seems to be a 6-12 month time lag between our budget and 3,925 events. Is there something to be worried about here? Not sure what it means, you guys are the containment experts, so I thought you should know. I've attached a spreadsheet below so you can see what I mean. Thanks Greg. Attachments, budgetevents.xls From, iberg at ams03.scp.org Theo Walsh at ams03.scp.org CC Major at AMS03.SCP.org, Director 1 at AMS03.SCP.org. Subject, RE Budget Projection Slash Event Data. Sent, July 4, 2017 at 11.11 a.m. Hi Greg. Thanks for your email. Containment has been thinking about something like this, can't say much more than that, 
but your info does worry us a bit. I've copied Director Liu into this email. We can take it from here. Irene? Attachments, budget events.xls. From, Iberg at AMS03.scp.org. TO Director 1 at AMS03.scp.org. CC. Subject, Accounting Data and 3,925 Events. Sent, July 4, 2017 at 11.30 a.m. Director Liu. I wanted to draw your attention to my correspondence with the Accounting Department. This is closely related to some of the concerns that were brought up at the last departmental meeting. The pre-causation data between our activity and SCP-3925 is a particular worry. I think we need to take this further. I've attached a summary of our findings from that meeting and updated them with the accounting data if it helps. Kind regards, Dr. Berg. Attachments, Budget Events 2.xls, Project 3925-a.pdf. From, Director 1 at AMS03.scp.org. T.O. Iberg at AMS03.scp.org. CC. Subject, RE Accounting Data and 3,925 Events. Sent, April 19, 2017 at 6.40 p.m. Hi Dr. Berg, I appreciate you letting me know. As I said at the last meeting I don't think there is an issue here. Your department stats re, 3,925 breaches have passed their targets by a lot and you should be proud of it. However since you are worried I would be willing to consider a working group to investigate this if you would like to form one. Director Y.L. Liu, MSC PhD FRS FFSS. From, Iberg at AMS03.scp.org. TO Director 1 at AMS03.scp.org. CC. Subject. RERE Accounting Data and 3,925 Events Sent, April 20, 2017 at 8.10 p.m. Director Liu Thanks for your reply. I've attached the working group proposal and discussed the issue with accounting. Once the financing application is approved and I have colleagues in containment aboard I'll send the final documentation for your approval. Kind regards, Dr. Berg Attachments Project 3925-A Proposal Team.pdf From, Director 1 at AMS03.scp.org TO Listserv at AMS03.scp.org CC Subject, Monthly Update Sent, April 30, 2017 at 12 p.m. To all service for clerical processing staff Congratulations on another successful month. I am pleased to report we have again met our targets for minor and major SCP breaches for April. I wanted to address some of the concerns I have heard expressed about SCP-3925 containment procedures and the direction of our department. Both myself and the O5 Council are confident that our current procedures are satisfactory with the resources we have available to us. This does not mean we do not believe we can improve, and our researchers have recently demonstrated many novel proposals to control SCP-3925. Whilst many of these cannot be discussed due to clearance issues, I am confident we are in safe hands thanks to your collective efforts. On a related note, senior staff are aware that working in this department can be a difficult task. We are aware that SCP-3925 is not as glamorous as some other SCPs. Nonetheless, you are all aware of the documentation and that this remains a serious threat to humanity on par with any other Keter-level SCP. I hope staff will keep in mind that every day you come to work here you are protecting the human race as much as any of your colleagues elsewhere, and you should be proud of yourselves. However, the Foundation values employee well-being and staff are welcome to take advantage of stress leave if required. As per HR there is now a new Form, 11B Green, to apply for this, separate from Form 11A, General Leave. This needs to be signed and approved by your department manager and HR subdirector Olson, 
in addition to Form 20, current duty substitution. Also, staff should be aware that due to time issues, from now on I will not be considering transfer requests prior to receiving separate transfer forms approved by a member of Level 4 staff in both this department and the relevant external department. Director Y.L. Liu, MSC PhD FRS FFSS. Thank you for tuning in. We hope that you enjoyed this broadcast. If you did please subscribe, like and share it around. If you have any particular case files you'd like us to cover in future broadcasts leave a comment below and we'll get around to it shortly. Tune in again tomorrow for more revelations.